Well, it's no secret that as this heat wave digs in its heels here in the state line, outdoor workers really feeling the burn. Nikel Delgado endured the sweltering conditions today to tag along with a mail carrier who's a seasoned pro in battling those blazing temps. Nikel. That's right, Tom. It's the ultimate test of endurance as city letter carriers beat the heat to give a sizzling service. One letter carrier tells me how she keeps cool. I like to be outside rather than inside, so I get fresh air and I get to move around. But moving around in the heat can be a challenge. Kelly has been working as a city letter carrier for 13 years, but she says she'd rather work in hot conditions rather than cold. I prefer the heat. Uh, just because I don't have to bundle up so much and I can get cooled off, but sometimes when it's cold, it's so hard to get warmed up. Before going door to door in the heat, Kelly prepares herself days before, loading up on all those important liquids and electrolytes. I carry a lot of water with me. Um, I also like to carry like ice cubes and a wash rag to um, just kind of pat myself off. Sunglasses and a sun hat are a must. As Kelly walks the hot trails, she takes some precautions to avoid heat rash, getting overheated, or having a heat stroke. I just try to keep a steady pace, try to take it easy, walk in, not walk too fast so that I don't get overheated. If I start to feel like I'm getting a you know, fast pulse or oh, excessively sweating, I will stop and, and get something to drink and cool off and get into some air conditioning. Kelly reminds residents to be kind as they battle the heat to deliver your mail. I hope people understand that we are out here walking around, trying to get them their important things and packages. For more tips on how to stay cool in this heat, find this story at mystateline.com. Tom?